All right, Kristen, thank you very much. Now let's check in on the other side, the latest from the Republican camp uh, in Columbus. We check in now live with Tunis reporter uh, Adam Reif, who is with the DeWine and GOP event tonight in downtown Columbus. <laughs> Enthusiasm here at the Sheridan picking up for the Republican Victory Party. A few moments ago, I'd spoken with Frank LaRose. He's the candidate for Secretary of State. I was asking him about what would trigger an automatic recount. His team said a margin of half a percentage point or more. Just in the past 15, 20 minutes, Mike DeWine has jumped out to a lead of about 230,000 votes. Again, only 70% of precincts reporting, give or take, so a long way to go. But this lead, a big surprise for Republicans who had hunkered down for a long night. We'll see how it plays out. Earlier, I spoke with Senator Rob Portman, who's been walking the floor after spending the past several weeks campaigning for Republican candidates. Here's how he described what the next few days will be like should Mike DeWine and other Republicans win. Yeah, I'm excited about working with Mike DeWine, and if Richard Cordray were to win, I would work with him as well. But I know that Mike DeWine is committed to working on some of the same issues that I care a lot about for our state, being sure we have a skilled workforce so that people can achieve their dream, whatever it is. Right now, we got a lot of companies that are looking for people. If they can't find workers here, they'll go somewhere else. We want to provide the workforce for them. We, we have to tackle this opioid crisis with a much more aggressive approach on prevention and education and getting more people into treatment. I know he wants to do that as well. So right now, cautious optimism in the room as we await those results. So far, the only person to step to the podium and speak was GOP Chair Jane Timken. That was only for a moment or two a big roar from the crowd when she said it looks like issue one will be defeated. So far, no one else has taken the stage to speak, but Republicans optimistic that some big wins are headed their way. Live in Columbus, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.